introduce your thought. You seemingly took a long time to put them away. How did? Uh, right? What did you think? I think we just got lots of days ago. You know, uh, some missed uh, box outs, some bad passes, bad turnovers. You know, it's the little things that matter. And games like that, when you get people down 10, 15, you got to put it up, get up by 20, 30, and just keep your foot on the neck. After they tied, you guys had a good response. What was the what was the message, I guess? Uh, come into the a hugs huddle. You know, he's going to get after you, but, you know, he just said we got to make a run. You know, like I said, just when you get people down, you got to put them away. Deuce, what do you think of the way you guys play defense tonight? Uh, we uh, gave up a lot of straight line drives, which they were able to kick it out to their shooters. And, you know, they missed a lot of threes. And I think if they make some, you know, they're going to maybe beat us or we're going to be down throughout the game. So if we can cut off straight line drives, we're going we're gonna to be good. Last six minutes when you guys did finally put it away, what was the key? Uh, cutting off. Uh, we actually switched everything. You know, just being able to stay in front of guys, that was the big thing. Emma Matthews. Hugs obviously emphasizes defense. You guys have the talent to be a good defensive team. What do you think? Oh, no doubt. I think it's just understanding things, you know, within our defense that, you know, it's a game to game thing. We kind of change it up. So it's just adjusting better and uh, giving us time to really uh, adjust to what type of defense we're uh, going to play in that game. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just got to stay in front of guys, take pride in playing defense. As you watch a lot of college basketball, I guess, in the fourth, taking your first couple of games as freshman year, you're a power five team, 30 point wins, things like that. It's kind of how it goes, right? Not how it goes. Right. Uh, it was fun, enjoyable for you. Oh, yeah. You learn no a doubt. lot just because. Yeah, I mean, this was my whole goal, you know, get the power five D1. And, was able to come here, happy here. It's one of the best experiences, learning from hugs, learning from the whole coaching staff and the older guys. It's just a blessing to be here and, you know, go through tough games and hopefully we can grow and get better every day. You've been on the floor for the final minutes of a lot of these games, too. I'm not saying that surprises you, but typically you want to crush by a freshman guard out there in the situation, too. Um, you got there, you got to make it work. What are you trying to focus on or not let happen? So uh, like definitely not let teams come in. You know, and get back into the game. I think my job is to come off the bench and bring energy, and then just him being able to trust me to put guys in the right spot, understand, you know, the defensive calls, things like that. It's just a lot of maturity. I, uh, I got to grow up quick if I'm going to be in the game at the uh, end. You can't do that blowout stuff, right? No. So you learn, like, what are you picking up from those things this late night? Uh, like, what, I mean, what are you finding out about how the game is played, how you play, how the opponent reacts? Just, you know, when things get tight, you kind of know who to go to, who you can pass it to, who you know you can kind of switch with and help off on, you know, and the tendency with the other team, again, like, you're just going to know who their go-to guys are, you know, the uh, number 13, he's been their go-to guy. We made a call in the HUD, we're going to switch, I switched on to them, they weren't able to run a play, so it's just understanding who their go-to guys are.